you doing? It's Jeff Sinker, back again with another classic rock song. One of my students said to me just recently, you haven't done any Judas Priest for a while. I thought, time to knit that one in the bud straight away. So, Hell Bent for Leather, classic song by Judas Priest. I am going to be covering all of the rhythm guitar parts to the song in this lesson. The solo, I'm probably going to be covering that a little bit later, and I'll be putting that up on my premium channel. Links down below, so you can check that out. If you're a first-time viewer to the channel, hi, great to see you. Hope you're doing very, very well. If you are into classic rock, new wave British heavy metal, Iron Maiden, Saxon, Judas Priest, really, this is an ideal channel for you lots of lessons for them bands. So why not take the opportunity, click on that subscribe button, click on that bell, that way you'll be notified whenever I'm posting anything new to the channel. Well, that's me all finished for the plugs. Let's get into the music. Let me now show you how to play Hell Bent For Leather. So don't go away. Preview. Right, let's look at the first section, which I'm going to call Section A, because it is played later in the song. So, Section A goes like this. Okay, very, very easy. Going to start off with an E5 chord, and we're just going to keep that going for one bar as we do the count of four. So we're playing one, two, three, four. And that's going to be the same for all of the chords that we're going to play in the sequence. Next up is an F5, F sharp five up on second fret, to a G, to a G sharp, to an A, down to the F again. And then back to the E5. Now this time we're going to hold this for two bars. Very, very simple. So, so that is section A. Like I said, that does get played later in the song. Now let's look at the main riff. Now I've looked at a number of different tablatures for this and I've also looked at a number of videos of them not only playing it live but also there's been the odd little snippet of uh, people like Glenn Tipton playing this riff. And just recently I did see a uh, video, it was out there, of KK Downing with uh, the new band that he's formed. and. Um, I've looked at a number of people actually talking about playing this as well because there has been a variety of different ways of showing this. So what I'm doing in this lesson is what I am hearing and what I've been seeing. Now there's probably going to some people out there going to say, I oh, know that's wrong, but um, that's, my disclaimer is this is what I have heard. I've put it into transcribe and I have also slowed it down. So the tablatures that I've seen and some people showing you how to play this, it varies to what I think he's playing. But I'm going to use that disclaimer on this one. It is what I think he's playing, what I've seen him playing and what I believe I see he's playing. So um, if you like the way I'm doing it, great. If not, well, it's just a lesson. So let me just look at this main section for you. I'm going to play it through and then I'll break it down for you. So, it goes like this. So what we're doing there, we start off on the A string, then we've got one on the D string on seventh fret, back for two chugs on the A, to the seven on the D, two more chugs, then I've got a double stop on five fret, to a double stop on 7th fret. And then I've got one more on the A. And then I do a 5 to a 7. With that hammer on. And then I do a 7. 
with a pull off. Then we go back to this single A. Then we go to, uh, the, to the one on the seven. Two more chugs. Another seven. Open string again, and then. Let's go into the five, seven. And then we got a run down, which is going seven, five on the D to the seven on the A, and then I do three and two. So, do this nice and slow. And of course, you're going to repeat that. So let's just bring that a little bit more up to the speed. Now let's look at the pre-chorus section. Again, I'll just play it through and then we'll break it down. Right, we're gonna start off uh, well, we're going to play in across the D5 chord, but we're going to pick up the D, which is on the 5 fret on the A string first, and we get this. So we're just playing double stops between 7 and 5, so we get this. And then we get... So... Then we go back. Goes down to the C. We go back and repeat. So that is the pre-chorus and we're gonna name that section C. Now let's move into the chorus section. So I'll just play it through again and then I'll break it down. Let's just break this down and look at the timing that's going on here. So what we're playing is we've got an A power chord on the one count. And then from the two count, we are just playing a series of open strings. So we get two and three and four and. Then we do another bar, one and two and three and four. Now on the and, we're gonna cross over to three on the low E string. So we get. Now, from there, what we're doing, we're playing through an arpeggio that's over a G chord. So we're playing, if you think of a G chord like that, you've played the three, what you're going to do is play the two on the B to the open A string. Then we play the three on the A string across to the two. So we're playing a C here. So you think of a C chord. You're playing three, two, it's the open G. And we're gonna come down and we play this uh, first fret on the E string, so we play the F. And then we have got open A and both open D. And then we go across to the three again on that low E string. We've got two open Ds, and then we start all over again with that power chord A. Let me just play through nice and slow. Uh, riff number B, which is the main riff. 
So all of the information will be in the tablature. There'll be a link down below. So you'll be able to follow that arpeggio through. Uh, I know there's some people playing slightly different, they move forward, but when again I was watching the videos, I could see all of the arpeggio sequence that was being played by both of the guitarists was down here on the third fret over that G chord. <laughs> This part is when you come out of that A, getting back into that main riff again. That's hard to me than actually playing that riff there. Anyway, that is the chorus riff. Of course, from there it goes back to a verse. Now you're only going to play that riff twice, the normal main riff, and then you go into your pre-chorus, and then you go into the chorus. Now from there we go to what is known as the bridge section, which is exactly the same as your intro section, which is section A, but just one chord is different right at the end. So you're getting this. That is the change. So you're playing E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, F, E, and then you play the octave in. Right, let's look at the chords that are being played behind the guitar solo, which goes like this. Okay, so we start off, the first part is over an A5 chord, which is hold for two bars. Up to an E5, again two bars. To a G. To a D. Then we've got this, which is played eight times. play that another four times so it's eight times in total on that and then we go back to what you could be seen again as that section a so we've got this e chord and that is the end of the solo section and one thing I just wanted to point out, when you play that E5 right at the end, you're going to play that one, two, three, four. Then there's a break for two bars where Ian Hill is doing some work on the bass and the drums. You get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then it goes back into the chorus. <laughs> And we just play that through, round and round, and that takes us to the end of the song. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed learning how to play Hellbent for Leather. Uh, not too bad the majority of the song, but it's just that riff. That does take a little bit of time getting up to the speed that they're playing on the track there. Well, I'm going to let you go. Let you get into this lesson and enjoy it. But until the next time... This is Jeff wishing you well, and I'll speak to you again real soon. So until then, goodbye.